Okay, so for this question, we're to put uh, in correct order a muscle contraction, the sequences involved in a muscle contraction. Uh, so for this question, I'm going to uh, start with a little bit more detail than this question outlines, and then I'll bring the question uh, to a close by putting them in the correct order. So as you recall, uh, it's all started with a motor neuron. Right, that uh, an, action potential, an action potential travels down a motor neuron to uh, the terminal end of that neuron. Once the action potential reaches the end, the voltage-gated channels open and calcium rushes into the motor uh, neuron, which causes acetylcholine, which is the neurotransmitter at a neuromuscular junction, uh, to be released into the synapse or to be released into the neuromuscular junction. The acetylcholine will then bind to receptors on the motor end plate, which again is just the specialized region uh, on the sacral lemma of the skeletal muscle cell that uh, communicates with the motor neuron. Once the acetylcholine binds to these receptors, it causes the action potential to travel down the sacral lemma, down the T tubules, and again, if you remember when the T tubules uh, have the action potential, it opens up the voltage-gated channels in the sarcoplasm reticulum, which is for this question number four. So the first event would be number four on this list. So the action potential traveling down the T-tubules, opening the voltage-gated channels in the sarcoplasm reticulum. Once this happens, calcium will be released from the sarcoplasm reticulum, which is number one on our list. The calcium then binds to troponin, which is number three on the list. And if you remember, once calcium binds to troponin, it causes the tropomyosin molecules to shift, exposing actin's active sites, which is number five on the list. Okay, once those active sites are exposed, uh, myosin binds to the actin, forming the cross bridge, and the muscle fiber shortens. So if we wanted to put it all together, uh, again, number four, and then we go to number one, then to number three, uh, to number five, to number two, and to number six. So if we were to find the correct answer, the correct answer would be the second possibility here, or uh, B as the option. So that would be the correct order of events. And if you wanted to reference this, any major anatomy and physiology textbook uh, would have this same outline in the muscle physiology chapter. Uh, I know it's in the textbook that we used in our course and any textbook I've ever seen has this for your review and for your uh, study uh, to as a reference for you.